Nature says a thousand words. Sometimes it's effective to use diagrams in a document rather than loads and loads of text. For example, I'd like to press Ctrl N to go to the end of the document. I'd like to press Ctrl Enter to create a page break. And on this page I'd like to insert a diagram, and particularly an organisation chart diagram. For this, I'm going to click on Insert in the ribbon. And in the Illustrations group, I'm going to click Smart Art. There are many types of diagrams or smart art objects that you can put into your document. I'm going to click Hierarchy. And here are 13 types of organisation charts. And I'm just going to click the first one in the list and click OK. What you can now do is you can directly type in the boxes. Or you can use the text pane. To use the text pane, you could click this little button on the left hand side. And this opens the text pane. Equally, you could hit the little cross and close the text pane. Up on the ribbon, you have a Smart Art Tools Design tab. And to the far left, you have a button called Text Pane. This will also show or hide the text pane. If I show the text pane and I type in the first line of the text pane, I could put Kathy Barker. And you can see it immediately goes into the top box in my diagram. Or I could close the text pane and just type directly in the boxes. For example, I'll click in this box and type Dennis. I'll click in this box and type Megan. And then I would like Leanne and Rosalie. I'd now like to add further shapes to my organisation chart. So I'm going to click on the Megan box. With the Megan box selected, I'll go up to the Smart Art Tools Design tab in my ribbon and I'll go to the left to the Add Shape button. If I hit the down triangle on the Add Shape button, I can choose where I want to add the shape. Do I want to add it after Megan, before Megan, above Megan or below Megan? Or is this person an assistant? Which means that they hang out the left hand side much like Dennis does, instead of being underneath with Megan, Lee and Rosari. What I'd like to do is I'd like to add an assistant. And this assistant is Mike. If I then click back on Megan, I can go back to the Add Shape button and I might add a shape below. The shape I want to add below Megan is then to contain the text Caitlin. If I click back on Megan, go back to the Add Shape button, I'll add another shape below. And this is Jack. Now the Caitlin and Jack boxes are leaning towards the right hand side. They're actually hanging to the right and I want to change them so that they're side by side. So I'm going to click on Megan, I'm going to go up to my Smart Art Tools Design tab in the ribbon and I'm going to click the Layout button. If I click the Layout button, I have the choice of changing it to Left Hanging, it's currently Right Hanging, or Standard, and I'll choose Standard. All the boxes below Megan will then have a standard layout. I'd now like to click on Leanne and add a shape below Leanne. So I'll click the Add Shape button and I'll add a shape below. The text that's to go into this box is Margaret. And I'd like that to be hanging, so I'll click on Leanne, I'll go for the Layout button and I'll make it hang to the left. I'll now click on Rosari and I'd like to add an assistant under Rosari. So I'll click the Add Shape button and I'll add an assistant. In this box, I'd like to see Neil. I'll click back on Rosari in my organisation chart and I add, want to add two more shapes below Rosari. So I'll click the Add Shape button and add a shape below. I'll click back on Rosari and add another shape below. These two shapes are hanging to the right, so I'll click on Rosari. I'll go out to the Layout button and I'll choose a standard layout and these two boxes will therefore be side by side. I'll click on the first box and type Mary, click on the next box and type Carol, and that's my organisation chart complete. The trick is to click in the right place. When you click on a shape and then you go to the Add Shape button, the shape will be added either after, before, below or above the shape selected. Also, if you wish to change the layout, 
click on a shape and change the layout of the boxes below that shape. 